This John Deere plow is much bigger than just a plow. Heyo, what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today I've got 20 mods for you. For all platforms, we have 10 new and 3 updates. For console only, we have 2 new. At PC and Mac, we have 3 new and 2 updates. Let's check them out. Starting off today with new mods for all platforms, we have the John Deere 2730 Plow from JA Modding. This bad boy right here is going to require 410 horsepower as a 7.9 meter working width at 7 miles per hour. Remember, this is a plow, so it does all of the goodies that the plows do. $58,000, so very affordable as well, but you're going to need a whole lot of power to pull this. Now, this is important, not just because we've got a brand new John Deere plow that is extremely detailed, but that means that next in line from JA Modding is his John Deere riding lawn mower, which makes me real excited. Next up, we have the Lizard self-made big bag lifter from Polycopters. This bad boy right here hooks up via three point, can hook up other pieces of equipment on the other side of it and is used for lifting big bags and taking them to and from the field, hooking them up over fertilizer spreaders, trailers, things like that should make lifting and uh, managing three point big bag or big bags via three point much easier. You've got some different colors through here. You got basically a base game grade. That's pretty tight. Uh, let's see. Let's go with the new Holland blue right there on the hydraulics and we'll go to the nice bright yellow on the frame right there. Beautiful mod, very well put together. And this is gonna help you out big time working with those big bags. Next up, we have the DMI MS 500. This bad boy right here is used as a leveler. It could also be used as a weight because it weighs quite a bit as well. Hooks up via three point and you will unfold it. So you can see you've got your three point on one side and then all you have to do is unfold the implement and it will be used there as a leveler for moving around chaff in your silos. Next is the machine shed. This bad boy right here is a wood frame machine shed. Use, we've got two different drive doors. You've got one right here, and then we actually have another one on the other side. Both of the doors will open at the same time. So all you have to do is walk up to one and hit it, and then your left one should open up pretty quickly, bringing them all together at about the same time, which is pretty cool. You also have a door right here on the side, if you wish, that is very high, so you can get your player in and out of here. This is gonna cost you $35,000, daily upkeep, 30 bucks per day, and it is seasons ready as well, which is very nice. Unfortunately, I have not seen any lights in here, so just keep that in mind. Next is the Lizard Tanker Auger Wagon. This bad boy right here is gonna hold 12,000 liters, at least to start with, but we can go higher than that, and it requires 80 horsepower, powered via a PTO. Main color through here, you've got a bunch of uh, custom colors, including chrome, which is kind of neat. You've also got black chrome on there as well. We're just going to change this up to maybe a green so you can see exactly what's being changed up there. Rim color, we have tanker white. We've also got chrome, very interesting. Silver metallic, black chrome, pearl white. And then we go into all of our standard colors through there as well, which is very nice. We're going to take that back over to Tanker White. Then design color. This is going to be the box of the auger wagon. So you can see right there, we've got it on brown right now. Not a great look for it, to be fair. <laughs> Change it up to chrome. That's very interesting. Configuration, 12,000 liters, 15,000 liters. Back and forth between those. Probably going to go with a 15. Wheel brands, we have Horsch, which is very nice. See, Michelin tires and Trelleborg in Horsch. We have a standard tire. And we have a reverse tire, Michelin, standard tire, reverse tire, and a trailer board. Let me guess, standard and reversed. Hey, we've got a, a second one there as well. That's pretty cool. Next new one for all platforms is the Modern House. This is a house with a modern and elegant look for the rest of your farm together, family and friends in a very, very modern looking home right here. It's a very cool animated light, so you don't have to worry about that. Maintenance is five bucks per day. This is going to, of course, be found in houses. It's going to cost you $80,000. Not a bad price for what it is. Unfortunately, you cannot go inside, so that is a bit of a bummer. However, just go up to the front door and you'll be able to go to sleep. Next up, we have the Lizard T Series 2 Brazil. It's a new semi truck. We've got a uh, six or six by four, basically, and a or in a four by two, six by two, four. But anyway, there's a three axle and two axle version. Customization options are virtually identical. 360 horsepower to start with, 700 liters of fuel, 49 miles per hour rim color. You've got a gray, you have a silver, you have black chrome, you've also got regular chrome, orange, 
and then you go into your base game colors. We're just going to leave that as gray right now. Main color, you've got a uh, custom blue, dark blue, red, dark red, a yellow. You also have an orange, green, polar white. Okay, interesting. And then you have the old man green. Then you get into your base game colors. Uh, we are just going to stick with the blue right now. And then design color. This is actually going to be the frames. You see everything that's orange right now. Very cool there. Change it up to black or gray if you wish. I think the black looks the best. So as far as strips, we have standard. We have brown plus intercooler. Red, gold, silver, green, blue, burgundy, another blue, <laughs> yellow, gray, orange, special edition and then back to standard again fuel tank we have a standard gray with the black stripe gray with the chrome stripe gray with your color stripe then you have the same ones via black and chrome as well then you can even change it to the base color and back to standard again honestly i think that either the uh, chrome strap or the black strap looks the best with the gray air filters so we have the uh, basically the air filter on the very back of the truck you can add the air foil or you can add the spoiler on top and you can completely take away the uh, intercooler right there and add it to the side. So you can do either one of those versions that you like through there. I like that. That's kind of cool. Uh, PX antennas, we have left, right, both on the front, and then left, right, and both on the back. Air suspension, no or yes. So you can raise and lower the suspension on the front just by unfolding the truck. Exhaust, one, two. These are going to be on the bottom, by the way. Three, four. And then change over to this side. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> hey, uh, change that up as well. Ten, and then all over the place. Back to one again. Bumper. We have an iron bumper, plastic bumper. Back and forth between those. If you like, plastic will change to the main color of the truck. I'm sure a lot of you guys will enjoy that one. Wheel setups. This is where it gets kind of cool. So you have standard. You have iron rims, which I think a lot of you will choose. We have iron rims with a black rim on the front. And then back to standard again. I like these iron rims. I think they look phenomenal. So we're going to leave them there. Fenders. We have gray open. We have black open. Color open. We have gray half closed. Black half closed. And um, the color half closed. And then back to standard again. Engine setup. We have a 305, 333. Uh, those aren't going to change much of anything. Just changes the logos on the front. And a 363, 375, 388, 410. And then back down to standard. So from 305 horsepower all the way up to 410 horsepower. Again, these are available in two wheel and four wheels in the back. So uh, two axle and a four axle version. Plus, if we can go through here, if you're on PC and Mac, you can actually get the Scania versions of these if you wish. If you're on console, well, you just have the standard Lizard version, which is the one that I would be using anyway. Next is something kind of exciting. This is the Demolishable House. So you buy this house for $5,000, the one that you see in front of you right here, and uh, you can earn money by selling the debris. The debris in the concrete floor can be crushed, and the concrete floor can only be removed with a stump grinder. And this is for all platforms. Everything that you're about to see is for everybody. So let's, um, I don't really know what to expect here. So let's just kind of find out and see what happens. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's, I don't, I don't think what I'm, oh boy. I, I don't, I don't know how to do this. Hmm. It, you're supposed to just be able to like hit it and, and it goes. Well, let's find out. Let's see if we can just kind of grab a hold here. And, uh -huh. yeah, you know what? Uh, <laughs> uh, the way that they show this on uh, online, the way they show this is not the way this is supposed to be working at all. Actually, I have no idea what to do here. I have the demolishable house. I can't pick it up. I can't run into it and go in it, I guess. So that's kind of neat. Uh, but unfortunately, I have no idea how to do this, though. Like it said, you can demolish this, stump grinder, everything. I completely read the directions, but evidently I'm just an idiot when it comes to things like this. So you should be able to knock it down, I guess. I just don't know how to do it. I may sit here and try for a few more minutes and see if anything happens, but 
Yeah, I think there may be a lack of DJ knowing what in the world's going on with this thing. Your next to last new mod for all platforms today is the Roush MDS 19.1. This is a fertilizer and lime spreader, 900 liter capacity, 18 meter spread at 12 miles an hour, about said 1800 meter spread. Main color, I uh, hope you like red because that's what you got. Extension, no, and extension, that's going to bring that up to 1500 liters. Design, we have no cover or nada again down there at the bottom and your last new mod for all platforms today is cork county from ninja curds this is seasons ready it's got 48 fields ranging in size you've got nine different transport missions with 25 possible transport spots bulk refill stations at the vehicle shop some equipment may not refill from bulk to keep that in mind train system with two silos and two selling points large farm area with new farmer only so do keep that in mind one farmhouse with an extra garage a farm building, medium shed and a large shed, double bin, farm silos, you got all kinds of stuff. We'll show you all that. Total farm capacity is 800,000 liters of any type, six large forestry areas, BGA. However, that must be purchased farmland to use it. As always, that's pretty standard stuff. Two wood cell points, sheds placed around the map, store goods and equipment like you can see right in front of you right now. You've also got field jobs, own fields not owned, five fields with grass missions, traffic and pedestrians, very helper friendly layout. As you can see, everything is very squared off, four gas stations and much more. Let's take a look at the PDA. This is what you've got starting off. You've got itty bitty little itty bitty fields down here that you can buy separately, or you've got strip fields, or you've got big massive fields like field 43 right here. I think that's the largest one uh, at $1.6 million. Now, you can buy all of the areas around the town and things like that. However, I will tell you, this little spot right here, uh, this is gonna cost you $1.4 million. Would be nice to see all of that need a bit less of that reminds me a whole lot a whole lot of ravenport so uh keep that in mind i'm not sure what the outside is if this is ravenport or felsburn maybe felsburn used around here regardless uh this is your new map what do you get in new farmer well let's take a look and see so we're going to start with tractors you only get two of them however you get the Valtra N174. It's actually my test tractor that I use to test pretty much everything. 210 horsepower there, 201 horsepower. You've also got the Fent 1050, the big engine on that bad boy right there. Rossa Mash Combine. You get a couple tippers. You get a header, cultivator, cedar, fertilizer spreader. You get a front weight. You've also got a sheep pasture, cow pasture, uh, horse, pigs, chickens. So you've got all those large grain silos. You've got a couple sheds. You have a sprayer. You've got a couple buildings. Yeah, so this is Felsburn. So there you go. And you've got a main farm, lights of props, and the main farm house. So you could take away your main farm, which is over here, I believe. And you could take away all of the props and stuff with one. And you can take away the house itself with the other. Pretty cool little building right here. If you guys are curious where I've been doing all the testing for the uh, building stuff, I've been doing that right over here by the shop. So we got everything over here by the shop. This is a cool map. And if you guys like more basic squared off styles, hey, this one might be for you. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms. We've got three of them for you today. First is the Disc Plow 3DR 4DR. This is going to be version 1.1. Updated the store icon, tidied the working depth, and reworked the four disc model. So there you go. You got that. Next is the John Deere 6010 series from DB Modding. This is going to be version number two. A four cylinder version has been added. That's right. A little baby John Deere. I love it. Corrections to the model overall new engine configuration has been added and some details have been added to both of these mods as well and your last update for all platforms today is the italian auger wagon pack this is going to be version 1.001 fix collisions making our way into new mods for console players today we've got two of them first is the lizard roll master it is water hose that's all it does <laughs> Nothing more, nothing less. It is a pretty neat little mod. I like it. If you guys want to find it, it is going to be found in placeables and in miscellaneous. Cost 56 bucks. And your second new mod for console players today is the Lizard 17 221 Medium Tractor. Oh yeah, it is here. So we got a couple of these now. 180 horsepower, at least to start with. You've got 430 liters of fuel, 27 miles per hour. Hitch configuration, you have standard, 
Run PTO or back and forth between those. Does look a little bit interesting, but it is cool nonetheless. Wheel brands. You got Lizard and Michelin tires. In a Michelin, you have a standard wheel weight, twin wheels, and back to standard. And in Lizard, you have a standard wheel weights and twin wheels. Those look very good, by the way. Engine setup, you got 180 horsepower, 240. So you can go back and forth between those. I will tell you that the articulation right here, I actually ran into something coming down here on Ravenport. And uh, yeah, the entire front end like flipped over sideways. So the back end was on the ground. However, this was like flipped over the wrong way. It was kind of interesting. So if you guys want to try and do some real neat stuff, this might be the tractor for you. Making our way into new mods for PC and Mac players today, we're going to start with the Stewart PS1823H from the ARM team. From them, you know it's going to be good. Starting off with 23,300 liter capacity of bulk crop. So you can put in here whatever you would like. Rim color. We do have silver, aka base game gray. Appreciate that very much. So we also have a custom black from them. And then we have all of our base game colors. Main color, we do have custom blue. However, we do have any other color that you would like as well. Configuration, we have, uh, well, not controller friendly. There we go. Green body one, green body two, silage body. And back down, so gray body one, 23, three. We've also got 23,300 liter capacity on gray body two as well. However, silage body, 37,800. So if you need to do some silage run or if you want one trailer to do different things throughout the year, well, you can just buy this and be good to go. Beautiful role play trailer right here. Wheel brands, we have Trelleborg, Michelin tires, and Trelleborg, we have a standard tire. And in Michelin, we have the x bibs and we expect HF, so back and forth between those. Design without mud guards, with mud guards. I was going to put those at the front, by the way, so keep that in mind. And design, no livery. We have the Scottish flag, UK flag, and back down. Really like that. I think those look very, very good. This is going to be a very popular trailer, I can already tell. Second new update for PC and Mac players today is the 2PTS6A from the FSSA modding team which means we probably will see something like this on consoles very, very soon, labeled as a Lizard brand or something like that. 6,200 liter capacity. We do have a rear hitch, so you can hook a bunch of these together. Rim color, <laughs> there you go. You have all of those old colors, plus you get some other ones as well. So we'll go with the black right through there, main color. Similar story here, bunch of old, old colors. Do like those, and then design. Change that up. That is going to be your frame capacity, 6,200. We also have 11,100 liter. 18,500, which is beautiful, and a 19,100 liter, as well as a bell loading wagon. So, multiple different things through there. Labels we have standard, uh, we have the 2PTS or PTS 6A, or remove decals altogether. Spare wheel we have standard or not, so you can add that if you would like to. It's going to be on the right side of the trailer right here. Wheels we have the 105s. We have the mud guards, the KF 97s with mud guards, and back and forth between those, and that is it. And your last new mod for PC and Mac players today. I really like this, and I hope this comes to console. This is called New Lands from Gwendol. This is a new region where you'll be able to create your first farm. It is a massive logging map. On this map, you start with nothing, therefore, everything that you do is for a purpose. You have to start by clearing the land, drawing the fields, and placing your own buildings in order to create your own farm. To help you move forward, you have to resell points available for you for cereals, potatoes, and sugar beet, sugar cane, two outlets for cotton, wool, and eggs. If you would like to contribute to the creation of the biogas, you can do so with a plant to buy. But the most important thing is the highway that crosses the map to get you wherever you want to go. The highway is amazing on this map. But most important thing is the highway that cross. Well, wait, I already did that. Points of sale BGA, your farm half fun. Show the determination and entrepreneurship that awaits you. A lot of logging maps suck. Can I think we can get that out of the way right now. This one does not. This is great. Seasons masked. It is seasons ready as well. BGA three points of sale. It has a wonderful highway system on through here. It's a sawmill, hobbyist sawmill, points of sales for uh, pellets. You've also got bells, straw, hay, wrapping, etc. You've got a dealer and an animal dealer, etc. This is such a cool map. Here's your PDA. You, you've got this. Actually, you do have one field that I did not realize. You get one field and you can buy that for $18,000. Otherwise, I don't think there's any fields on here whatsoever. Everything is labeled out in chunks. So you got little chunks here and there that you could buy. These aren't too crazy expensive either. I'm not seeing anything much higher than like, what, 105, something like that. Your uh, overall, uh, the road system, $0. I'm very appreciative of that. Yeah, it looks like everything is uh, 
fairly inexpensive 613 okay that's about the most expensive one i've been able to find um but yeah this it's just such a cool map i like this I really do let's take a look and let's see what we get a new farmer you have the voucher with the 201 horsepower love that raw smash you're the smaller raw smash by the way you do get a tipper header plow you get a direct drill which is very nice small one though three meter not gonna mean much word to start with you get a stump grinder which is great to have front loader you get a manure fork log fork very handy there a weight and you're gonna need that weight on the back of your tractor otherwise beautiful map i'd take this yes 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 very much so um if you are playing on pc and you're not much for logging maybe give this a try you might like it and let's end today with mod updates for pc and mac players i got two of them and the first of the two is the metal fact z562 this is going to be version 1.002 Fix the grass bell wrapping problem. And your last mod today, the Euromass ST30 update version 1.001. Fixed attacher. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Make sure you guys stay tuned to farm some news later today as well as today's farm sim news video. It's going to be a big one. All we said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.